Hi friends, welcome back. In today's session, we are going to perform CRUD operations for these categories. So I'm going to create a controller here. Right click, add controller. I'm going to select MVC controller with views using entity framework. Click on add. Here I'm going to select model category and database context we have to select here and I'll name it as category controller click on add so by using scaffolding it will generate the views for us so category controller has been created with all the methods this is the method which is responsible to read the data from the DB and uh, it's going to bind into index view and this is the details index method and this is the create method to get the blank form and this is the method which is going to post the data from the view to database and this is the edit method which is responsible to get the data under displaying in the edit form and this edit post method which is going to post the data while updating the category details and finally this is the delete method it is a get method and it is going to get the data based on the id and it will be displayed in the form and this is the post method to delete the data from the database so this is the method which we are going to check whether category is available or not with the specified ID. So this is generated by the MVC and if you see the views also it will be generated all the views like create, details, delete, edit and index. So we will run the application and we will see how the output is showing in the category master. So I will run the application. So I'm going to call category controller from the URL. So this is the category controller index view. So currently we don't have any records in the database. Execute. We don't have any data here. I'm going to create a new category here. I will name it as mobile and I will create here. So this mobile category has been created and we can edit here back to list and I am going to create one more category. So all the categories has been created and we can check the details by clicking on the link. We can edit from here back to list. I can delete it here. Click on delete. It will ask for the confirmation. If I click on delete, the data will be deleted from the DB. You can go and check in the DB also. Execute query. So currently we have two categories mobile and TV. We will create another category here laptop create category master is ready now i'll go and do some changes here here we will create a hyperlink for category master i'll copy this list item here we have to change the controller name here action will be index so this title will be category I'll go to the category and I will do some changes here so 
instead of hard coding this index I will take it from my title this create new button we will assign the style I am going to add the bootstrap style here Here also I am going to make it as I'm adding margin top here likewise we can add it for delete also the application now I can click on category hyperlink here so all the categories are displayed here click on edit this will be displayed back to list click on details so detail is showing here click on delete so once it is confirmed this record can be deleted from this form back to list so now our category master is ready now we can display this category details in the product screen so in next session we are going to perform crud operations on product and we are going to create one product drop down list in the product form and we are going to display these products inside drop down list that's it for today if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching